All right, YouTubers, what's going on? I'm talking about uh, doing another video here on another incredible Primary Arms product. This is the Primary Arms 6x scope with the ACSS reticle and 22 long rifle. So this one's going to be a lot of fun. I've been excited for this one to come out for a while. This is one of the new uh, Generation 1s that just was released. So let's talk a little bit about this and uh, kind of go through the uh, how the reticle works. So, well, first of all, let me get the impressions of the scope before we jump to the reticle. Another well-built, um, solid scope, uh, just from, you know, initial impressions. The glass is actually really, really clear on it. And, again, we're going to have a problem seeing that with the lighting and such. But the glass is very clear. The reticle is very clear. Um, this is not an illuminated reticle, but it is etched on the, the glass, just like all the other primary arms. And I ever actually rarely ever use the illuminated reticles on any of my uh, primary arm scopes. So... So overall build quality is great. Uh, your turrets, got the nice screw down caps here. And I have not installed, uh, put this on a rifle yet so I can mess around with these, but you can have some nice positive clicks. So you can hear there. So you have really nice positive clicks. You can also uh, return these to zero with the included screws there once you get your zero. If you want to kick it over to zero, I don't ever really do that. I usually just set it and leave it, especially with this type of reticle. You don't really need to, but it's an option. So nice positive clicks. Um, just a very quality piece. You know, not sloppy, not, uh, you know, it doesn't feel inexpensive at all, which it is. So very good quality. Um, again, the glass is very clear. You do have an autofocus ring here. That is the first step actually to using this scope is to focus it. Mine's nicely focused and so just an overall build quality is, is is great, just like it usually is from primary arms. So that's this kind of optics I run on pretty much all my guns. So the ACSS is nothing new on this channel. We've talked quite a bit about it, but it does work differently per each type of caliber. So it's definitely important to kind of cover that and talk about that a little bit. Uh, the Advanced combi Combined Sighting System is what ACSS stands for. So it does have its typical bullet drop compensation for 22 long rifle. You can see here the center dot in the horseshoe. It's for 25 to 50 yards. The top post there is 100 yards. Then you have 125, 150, 175, and 200. Then you have your 5 mile an hour wind leads here. You also have the ranging part of the reticle, and this is exactly what it looks like inside the scope, really. Um, you have you know, your 1, 1.5, 2s there. And you can see here that they use those to range different things. Um, you can range a, a soda can, you know, right here, lining that up within those areas here. You can also range a bottle at 100 yards. And that one's actually pretty easy. It fits in pretty much in that whole entire square. And then you also can range similar size items. So if you're not just shooting at bottles and cans, let's say you're out hunting and you're shooting, uh, hunting rabbits or squirrels. Uh, ground squirrels is something I kind of hunt pretty often when I go up to my wife's cabin in Wyoming. I'll be using this exact uh, red, uh, optic for that this, summer, this winter. Uh, <laughs> ugh, can't talk. This coming July. And I'm going to be able to range those um, groundhogs with this little reticle. Just line them up in there and, and go ahead and shoot, and you're going to be right on. So pretty stinking cool. Really cool product. Really excited to get out and use it. Um, you do a 25, start zeroing this scope at 25 to 50 yards, and then make final adjustments at 100 yards uh, with that top post. So just to make sure it's on. Um, each click is a quarter MOA. And then, like I said, I mentioned before, the turrets can be reset to zero by loosening the hex screws if you want to do that. So I don't typically do that. Um, some spec on, specs on this. It is one inch tube. It is six times magnification. Um, you have 3.27 inches of eye relief. Your field of view at 100 yards is 17.5. And each, like I mentioned, each click value is a quarter MOA. Um, so really, really great design. Just very similar to a lot of their other scopes, um, just specific for 22s. And I don't know anyone that that is into guns and shooting that doesn't own a 1022 or a 1522 MP 1522 or a Remington 597 or maybe Savage Bolt Action 22. Everyone's got at least one 22 that they might use for you know plinking for small game hunting. This is an awesome scope. I mean, it, it really. I mean, I don't even imagine shooting a 22 out to 200 yards, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna take this out and test it in the field. Um, we're going to mount it, and we're going to test it at all these different, most of these different ranges. See if we can get some hits uh, at clear out to 200 yards with the 22 long rifle. 
it's definitely the caliber is definitely capable of it um, it's just typically got you have quite a bit of drop and this takes all the guesswork out of it guys that's the beautiful thing about the ACSS the bullet drop compensation is typically spot on for every one I've ever tested um, so look forward to a lot of testing videos on these these optics and this ACSS reticle I've already done it for the two and a half time compact scope I'm going to be doing it soon for the 76239 uh, 1 to 6 scope and the 308 scope and I'm most likely doing them all uh, at the same time if I have time <laughs> I may have to do multiple trips, but do them all, um, then get separate vid footage, you know, just kind of demonstrating how the the BDC works for these. So this one's going to be a lot of fun. I, like I said, this is one of the ones I was most excited about because uh, I don't like, I don't know about you guys, but most of the time I shoot, it's a lot of times it's 22 just for a cost. Um, I don't have a hard time finding 22 ammo anymore, especially with, uh, you know, great tools like slick guns and such. So... Got a nice supply of that. I'll have, go out and have fun, do some plinking, some cans, some clay pigeons, some bottles, and then we'll maybe even, like I said, this summer we'll be taking it out uh, varmint hunting. So, all right, guys, any questions or comments on the primary arm? Well, let's go ahead and one thing that I didn't do is weigh the scope because that is actually something I think is pretty important. Is how much weight is it going to add to your rifle, especially if you're going to be using this for hunting, you're going to be packing it around. You know, you're going to want to know that. Now, now, the rings I have on here are. Um, designed for an AR that's I'm putting I'm putting this on the 1522 so it's got a little bit of a higher height um, that you may use on like a standard rifle I thought I turned that on so these rings are a little bit beefier so take that in consideration um, but with the rings you're weighing in at 15 ounces 15.4 ounces you may have lighter to weight wings these are pretty heavy duty ones um, you know, with the 22, you could get away with a little bit lighter weight rings if you wanted to. But these are what I had on hand. They work well on the 1522, so I'm going to use these. So, so 15 ounces, um, awesome reticle, really high quality scope, six time magnification. There is rumor that they are coming out with a one to six magnification for the 22, which is going to be incredible if they do that. Um, Primary Arms is just always coming out with new, innovative products, guys. I mean, if you for the money, they can't really be beat, in my opinion. The quality is awesome. Yes, they are made overseas, which what isn't these days, right? Um, but for optics, you know, if you wanted something U.S. made, you're going to be paying a lot more money for these. So, you know, that's something just to kind of consider if you're if you're a you know a shooter and you're a, you know doing it for a hobby, not in the military, law enforcement. You know, these optics are perfect for that. Um, and I would even, I mean, I've from what I've seen, some of their optics, the tests they've gone through it, I would even put them up there, you know, for military and law enforcement use. But anyway, guys, um, any questions or comments on the ACSS 22LR scope from Primary Arms? Leave them down below, and look forward to the coming videos on uh, the range testing of these of these products. All right, guys. Oh, price wise, guys, I've almost ended this video twice, and I almost forgot the price on this. I'll leave a link in the description below, but I believe they come in right around 150, 160 for this optic. So. Really affordable, um, great price. I'll like I said, leave a description link below to Primary Arms uh, link for this scope. But an affordable scope that has you know some really innovative and a really innovative reticle. Um, I'm a big fan of the ACSS, as if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Pretty much running them on all my guns now. So, all right, guys, thanks for your time. Uh, any qu questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you on the next video.